you be my It's the done, the done, done I still got a lot of shit to learn, I'll admit Yo, 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 what's up people, Tassaran here, welcome back to the World of Warcraft Classic with our very stealthy rogue, known as Molip. Yep, we're in Duskwood, you can hear we're in Duskwood. There's a very good reason for this, so quick bit of catch up, so obviously last night we got the all-important Fiery Blades enchants from the Whelps, well happy I got that. Uh, today's episode is going to be something very similar, although not to such a big deal as a, as a, a kind of one-off enchant but before I head down to do some solid questing in the Vale which is fully what I plan to do today uh, I'm going to be going into Swamp of Sorrows uh, we've got this quest Mason's Behest uh, where we need to get Cadgar's essays from Dimensional Convergence on Dimensional Convergence uh, off of some elementals it's another single drop that takes a proper good slap uh, we're gonna have to kill a few elementals in the swamp of sorrows to take this and then we need to head it on down to netherguard keep <gasps> so i'm gonna do that on the way to the veil there's also another quest here you can see on my minimap supplies for netherguard so i'm gonna pick that up as well even though it's deep red it should be just a hand in as long as it's not as long as it's not the timed one. So let's have a look. Before it expires, power stones. Now I'm pretty sure it's an hour. It is an hour. Which should be more than enough. More than enough time to uh, to do the elementals. If not, if it comes down to like 15 minutes or so, then I'll just run into Netherguard, hand it in and come back. I don't think it's going to be that bad. We do have a few additional things to help us along our way. I went a little bit nuts. Obviously Wait, yesterday I managed to get loads of mithril. Uh, so I've made, I've got 15 now of these mithril frag bombs. 149 to 201. Stuns targets in an 8. Massive 8 yard radius uh, for 2 seconds. So that's pretty gorgeous. That's quite a, that's quite a step up. So we've got that. I've also gone ahead and made the Mithril Blunderblast finally. I had to buy a couple of elemental fires to make this happen. But we got there. So it's now a stat stick really. It's given me another 5 agility which is nice. And I've also made some high impact Mithril slugs. So I'm pretty sure the next ammo... I don't know if it was 40 or 45. But either way we've got these because it's only a pull weapon. Uh, we've also... Out of a lock box that I had sent over from my priest, uh, as you know, we had two of these: Defias Renegades, three agility, three stamina, and we got the Forest Hoop of the Monkey, six agility, six stamina. So we doubled our stats on that ring instantly. We're now rocking 197 agility. Oh, oh, that's nice. And uh, the quest that we're going to do today, we're going to be dropping two strength but gaining another agility uh, and it's going to be for the boots so we've got the excelsior boots which was from a elite crocolisk quest in the veil we are going to be getting the wanderlust boots five strength ten agility exactly the same armor it's the same level gear uh, but i just feel the agility i want to boost my crit up my crit's gone down to like 10.91 because uh, obviously it differs depending on your level so the higher level you go the more crit bonus you need to get the crit up so there's a few things I want to work on but I think once we get to I don't know why I'm running I think once we get to uh, do the south of the Vale and we've still got a few of the camp quests the jungle stalkers and Bagthera is currently where I'm at need help? go with honor friend Right, let's just see. Is it an hour? It's an hour. Nice. I've also purchased a few more uh, of these level 35 potions. And we've got some of these level 20 ones that I use just as like a quick top up. You know, if I can't be bothered to feed or bandage or something, then it just gives us a little, a little, little bit of a boost. 
I did send him over to my priest originally, but you don't need them. You just you just don't need them. Now, luckily, we don't have to go far into the Swamp of Sorrows at all. It's literally right sort of here. So, all exciting. So, we've already seen this, so I'll meet you at the Elementals. Here we are, the Mist Valley. This is where we need to be. Now, I killed all of these a couple of times round when I did it on the Priest. So, this should give us plenty to do. And they're level 39, so it should give us some reasonably nice XP. I've already uh, put on some poisons. We're rocking the instant poison rank 3 damage. So we're going to really see now, after I get this gold, we're going to really see if the uh, if the fire does uh, its job. Now I'm hoping so, because these are elemental, so technically... They're not fire elemental, are they? They're like nature elemental. So technically, this should, should go well. So we'll start with this first one. I think perhaps these are immune to the poisons. Nope. The poison did hurt. Yeah, we got some fiery blaze. Don't let him do any of that shit. That's strange. Did I miss the kick then? I didn't see. Oh, resisted. That's not good. And Shadow Bolt is still working. I don't think it procs as much as the fire one it has to be said but we have had fights where it's done shadow bolt shadow bolt shadow bolt and it's been fucking lovely but i've also started to realize that because now we've got uh you know we've got poisons we've got the shadow bolt we've got the fire and these are all chance on hit So I want to start adding um, slice and dice into the rotation. I think obviously the more hits we do, the more chances we're going to get of these additional lovelies. And the beauty of slice and dice, we get a full nine seconds from one combo point. One combo point. You know what? I'm gonna do it. Still not even noticed us, has he? Knapsack, nice. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to get any more bag slots uh, for the bank at the moment because the next one I need is like ten fucking gold. Forty-one. Forty. There we go. Two hits. Ah, oh, bollocks. Slice and dice because uh, I'm hoping this one's going to die soon. I wanted to see if we can use that fiery to uh, its full advantage by taking on multiple targets. And it's like, ah. The first hit, hit for two. Ooh. 
They're a bit tougher. What have we got there? I think I'm just going to bandage up. There is a higher one, the something something Lord. Swift so this all tidy. I'll tell you what, these drops are good. I haven't actually got any shit yet. <laughs> Not the stuff I want, but good stuff. Yeah, 10 gold for a bank. For a new bank space, but I think now I've got the, uh, now I've got the map, and no one's going to be getting the ethics, because it would be, um, it's far better just to wait for the Burning Crusade for the, because the price of the mounts do go down, I believe. So we've got nothing really to spend the bloody money on. So why not get the bag, uh, the bank slots? That was nice. Right, and I am going to... Uh, I'm going to whip out my brass pair and take on the Maya Lord. I don't think he's got a higher chance. I know when I did this quest on my priest, um, it wasn't him that I got the, the book from. He's immune to the poison. Wow, okay. Take that and that. Well, at least Fiery and uh, Shadow Bolt are still kicking off nicely. Right, so that one is immune to poisons. That's not helpful for us at all. But it looks like that Paladin has had a word with the others. Mm, not good. Alright, let's get some respawns out, I suppose. Okay, we've got one, but we are competing, because unfortunately that, uh, that paladin is still in the area. See, I know which order I killed them in, so I know which order mine will respawn at, but I don't know what he's done. I'm going to have to be really tight with it. Seven minutes. But if we're competing with two, Savage Axe of the Whale. No good to us. Okay, so he's fighting that one. He's fighting that one. The Maya Lord's like 
immune to poison, so I'd rather not go for that one. We've got some iron, let's get that. Is there no physical way? Ah, oh, straight up the front. Because of the nature of the quest though, obviously if I see one spawn below me, I'm jumping on it. 210. What does that even mean? I don't know. Fair enough. Coming. Yeah, I am behind the fucking target. Is it just me, or are we not hearing the Shadow Bolt as much now? Because I'd hate to think that the Fiery Blaze has lowered the chance of uh, Shadow Bolt propping, because Shadow Bolt was doing more damage, you know, practically, well, double. More than double. Forty-four minutes. We've got time. We have got time. This is possible. I see the other two players about. Perhaps they got lucky. See if we get some respawns. Okay, the My Lord has just spawned. Immune to poison, so not brilliant. Nice. Fucking lovely when that happens. Such a difference without poisons. It's an insane difference. The paladin is still in the area. He's level 37. the gouge though. Level 60 rogue, come on, fuck off. Yeah. 
nine minutes. I really don't want to leave and come back. Barely worth bloody risking the stealth then. And miss that. Shit. Like each one, each one, this could be that day, and it just. Oh. And if you're wondering how it's going in real time, I haven't cut. Oh, beautiful! All three. But yeah, just so just so just so you know, I haven't cut out any. Every every one that you've seen me kill is what I've killed. I'm not helping you on this occasion because uh, you're a hindrance. <laughs> to be fair. Obviously, if I think he's in the shit, then I'm not an asshole, I will help, but... It's a level 40 for Bosh! So much fun. You know, I've not got bored of Ambush yet. So I'll be honest, when I, when I hit level 40, um, I decided to do some sort of priests uh, and some rested bonus on, on the rogue, but the whole time I was on the priest, I just just wanted to get back on the road, I got the rogue, I've got to admit, I'm enjoying the rogue a lot more at the moment. Oh. Oh, you lucky prick. I'm trying to be greedy there. Right, if I can kill this one before he kills that one. Which ain't gonna happen with this kind of DPS, gotta be said. Right, he's already killed it. I'm getting a bit concerned. He's got some good damage on him, he is taking him out. Say so sometimes quicker than I am. Oh. I don't think the My Lord's worth it, I've got to be honest. But the time it takes to kill him. Oh, 
his respawn timer seems to be a little bit higher than the others around here. Not good. Respawn behind me. I think that's what I need to be doing when I'm running around on the mountains. Actually, look behind me. So far, I've nearly been here the full duration of my poison. <laughs> what these quests are like though. Blaze, I think that's brilliant. That actually proc quite nicely there. I know it seems like I'm being greedy, but that's because I am. I'm on a timer, I don't think he's high enough because if he's 37, he's not high enough to get the quest for supplies for Nether Guard Keep, so he's not got the timer issue. Coming off the mounts a little bit fucking awkward sometimes. <gasps> yeah, get off the fucking mount, man. No, I've not got the <laughs> guns on the action bar. Still bows. Shit. suddenly just started respawning all at once so that's really nice <gasps> yay <laughs> I've got no idea how happy I am but yay <laughs> That was really childish, but fuck it. I really, really wanted that. Okay, fantastic. So we've now got uh, the two quests now to hand in at Nethergard. Now, I have already been there, so I have un already unlocked the flight path, but we're that, we're that close, aren't we? So, so long, Paladin. got two minutes left on one poisoned thing in fact did you already see the run and another guard he must have done because he ought to have done it when I did the Dream dust. I'm pretty sure, or actually, 
in search of the temple. Now this is classed as an elite quest. Because there's a lot of elite dragons. But once we get to the temple, and that's where the dungeon, the sunken temple is, I'm pretty sure that's it. I've just got to go there. How are we doing? Hmm. Probably the sneeze. Yep. Yeah. I've been walking across because we've got quite a large, there's quite a large grass area out the front of our house. You know, my, my car is parked on the road like a bus ride away from the house because of the amount of grass between the house and the road. Um, and it's all been freshly cut. And as most of you know, I am the hay fever sufferer extraordinaire. Um, and it's starting. We're in the season. So you have to bear with me if I... Uh... Well, it's just going to happen. I've got to admit, this is so much nicer on a mount. Because when I did this with you lot last time, I'm pretty sure I showed it. It wasn't on a mount. The green mecha strider. Fucking awesome. Fan brilliant. Two quests to hand in. So... Muzzin's behest. Get off the fence. So we do that one first because the uh, supplies was red, wasn't it? Yeah, I don't know how much. XP that's going to give. I know it's going to look like it's got a bit of a penalty because it's red. But I think we don't get a lot for that quest. Which is a shame because I'd love to level. Because a lot of the jungle stalkers, the third tier raptors that we're going to be doing in the Vale, they are like 40, 41. So getting another level under our belt before we actually get cracking with the friend. lower Vale could be a good thing right so we're going to be dropping two strength for one agility now i don't know about you lot but i nearly think alliance. it's worth it the xp was definitely worth it um it's not going to make much of a difference to our crit But it's going to do some. And that actually nearly goes with the shoulder pads we're wearing. Some more blinding power. Always nice. Since they take um, bloody fade leaves to make. So to buy them from the auction house is really expensive. Or can be. But luckily, I only really use it in uh, dire moments. Okay, so let's see how much XP we are going to get for this bad boy. Well met. Go with honor, friend. Two nighties, and it's not terrible for a just a basic hand in quest. That's not bad at all. Right, so we've got that little bit closer. They're out of the quest log now. So, is there anything I need to... What are we doing for time? Yeah. Yeah, fuck it. Let's do it. Let's go, let's go and hand that in. And see, I don't know, what happens, really? see what happens so I'm gonna I'm gonna do a quick pause so we do have uh, a little bit more time there 
but I'll bring you back when I'm around the elite dragon kid and we'll see how close we can get. It should be a giggle. Oh, I thought I'd bring you back now. We've only just entered the uh, the swamp. Yeah. Uh, but I thought it is like a, you know, we've got to go past a horde place, Stoneard. Yeah. All this here, I'm pretty sure. Oh, go away. Is uh, like elite dragon kin, so. Die on stealth. Is that what happened there? So let's just get to the oh I would like to un just get off me. Just get off me. I do want to unlock this on the map, but if they I mean if the level 36 could see me, then I'm pretty sure they're going to. No borrow the cudgel. Nice. I hate that whole area though. This whole, those lost ones. They're, I don't know. I've always said like gnolls and specifically murlocs are like the worst fucking mobs you can do because of the noise they make. They're really annoying. But if you really think about it, these fucking things. They're, they're something else, aren't they? They're really, really annoying. <laughs> Just to the point, right, there's no quest here. You fucking liar. I don't, I, I don't know what, oh shit. Stone Art Explorer. Thank you. Anything we can do to lower the, the Horde's economy in it, really. I know it doesn't actually do shit because he's just an NPC, but I like to think I'm doing my bit. Right, I am going to be stealthing sort of most of this. <laughs> way because I really don't want to see the trouble is you you land in water too deep here and you will instantly come off your mount okay so level 44 they're not elite though So does that mean these are ones that don't drop the worn dragon scales for leather working, which I reckon would sell a fucking bomb right now? I mean, they'd be bloody tough. In fact, before we go any further, I should probably have a bit of a top up. I'm wondering whether or not to put crippling on my off. No. I thought for getaway purposes, but we're going to be going just as bloody slow in the water anyway. Oh! Apparently that's all that is required. So what's that? In Stormwind. For some reason I thought that was the uh, Explorer's place in Ironforge, but no, it's just Stormwind.
So I think as we are in the middle of nowhere back end of beyond, let's hearth back and hand it in. Get a little bit more XP, why not? It's orange. Should be good XP. Certainly hope so. Certainly hope so. Now where is it? Is it going to be in the keep or the cathedral? Wrong on both counts. It's in the dwarven district. Well, I'll put those poisons on for no reason at all then. Yes. Before you ask, there are still times when I'll run halfway across uh, Stormwind before realising I have a mount. But it, it, I'll tell you what, this is so different. You know, usually if you if you're in the trade district and you've got to get to the dwarven district or the tram or something, you know, you you're thinking. Am I going to have to do a packed lunch? Stop for fuel? You know, it's, it's a journey. Yeah, that's right, I remember now. Right, in search of the temple. 3,600, hello. To the hinterland, speak to High Fane Falstead Wildhammer at Eerie Peak. In the hinterlands. Watch your back. I mean, of course, I'm going to. The trouble is, there's not many quests for alliance in hinterlands. It's a gorgeous place for horde. It's just stunning. Uh, but you know, you got we've got the Witherbark cages, which is forty-five. Troll Necklace Bounty, which is all here, is not too bad. It says 45, but... It's the same issue that I've got with Tanaris, that, you know, that's the colour of the quests. And it's a little bit... You know, they're all considered high, high level. 43 is the lowest. Plus, this is gank worthy. So, although I'm definitely going to quest there, I'm I'm going to enjoy questing there. I, I I do like Tanaris, but not yet, not yet, and we're not quite ready for that. So yeah, I think we're going to be just cracking on with the veil. But that is all the time I've got for this one. Thanks an awful lot for watching. I do really appreciate it. Let me know what you think in the comments, and I'll see you all in the next one.